What's up, everybody? Tech Twins here, and today we're going to be unboxing and sound testing this Razer Huntsman Mini with red linear switches. We will have a video coming out about the purple switches, uh, but that's when the keyboard comes in two days, so definitely stay tuned for that. But for now, we have the linear red optical switch keyboard to test out, so let's get straight into the box. 60% form factor, nice Razer logo, letting you know that you have red linear switches, Razer Huntsman Mini, 60% optical gaming keyboard, this is a picture of the keyboard, Razer optical switches, double shot PBT keycaps, detachable type C cable. Now let's get to the back of the box and Keyboy is going to read this. The back of the box has a bunch of stuff that we already read and more stuff that you may want to see. Pause the video if you want to see any of this. But without further ado, let's get right into the box. Now this is a really nice box. Opens from the front up. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. And there's a little latch here. Hey, 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 before we get to anything, let's read this. What they have here. Uh, just kidding. Some more cardboard. And here we have... And here we have the keyboard. I'll set that aside for now. Here we have the cable. As it mentioned, it is a detachable USB Type-C cable. Oh, it's, it's braided. That's a nice addition. I love braided cables. It's got a little cap here. There's the USB side. And there's a Type-C side. That's pretty thick. And it has one of these rubber things where you can just take off. Now here's the cable. It appears to be six feet long if you want to cable manage it. And you want lots of cable. So let's get that aside for now. And now... Let's look at the keyboard. Doesn't appear you need knifey on this one. Slide that up. Slide it out of baggie. Throw that away. Sound test, ASMR. All right. Now these keyboard keys as are very quiet, we might have to boost the audio in post. But now, just to perspective, we're gonna bring in a Roll Clutch 61 to compare it to. So this has RK61 red switches and this has Razer red switches. Now I think the reason why it's so, so much quieter opposed to this is because it has built-in sound dampeners now don't worry clicky switch maniacs i'm one of you they did not add the dampener into the purple switch keyboard we will be reviewing that tomorrow now at the back here they have their little slogan for gamers by gamers now here you have a six degree angle little uh kick up thing and then you have nine degree angle kick up thing i think i'm probably going to use the nine degree angle one all right so it appears that you hold fn and then type I, J, K, and L. These are your four arrow keys. On the roll clutch, they're usually here. As you see right here, they're here. But it appears Razer went a different route. And a way much smarter route, because on this roll clutch, I'd always have problems forgetting which keybinds to hit question mark with, because this one key here is acting as up, slash, and question mark. As on the Huntsman Mini, this one is just acting as slash and question mark, which will be way nicer. I cannot get by the feeling of this keyboard, bro. It's so nice and quiet. I can't wait to test out the purple ones, because I'm currently debating which ones I like better, the purple ones or the red ones. But Q-Boy here definitely likes the red ones. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually, like, side key things showing what the function version of the key does. As you see, arrows... A bunch of other bull crap that you don't want to know when you're gaming. You just want to use the keyboard. No arrow keys. So it looks like it is a metal body, but a plastic shell at the back, which is perfectly fine. You're not expecting anything like aluminum, like Tufu's overpriced $3,000 keyboard. Uh, this was 120 US we got it for. 
Um, no, the red switches were, these were, I believe, $130, the red switches were, and the clicky switches are $120. I'm not strong, to be fair, but I'm trying as hard as I can to flex this board, and it is not flexing a tiny bit. That is because I, I believe this part is metal, and the back part's plastic. Uh, one thing that comes to me is this keyboard is very light. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's super duper light. Let's feel the light between the Royal Clutch 61. Oh, definitely lighter. And when I got this keyboard, I thought it was light and small. Now I like this thing. New winner! And now, let's show you how to install the software. So the first step to install the drivers, you're just going to type Synapse 3. Click on the first thing that comes up. Bam! You're going to click Download Now. Should load an EXE, click on that. Hit yes. It should load a razor window like this. Now you're going to click check on Synapse. Then hit install. You can install Razor Cortex if you want, but I'm just going to skip and continue. Now you got to wait for it to load. While we're here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because me and my brother really enjoy uploading these videos. Also, if your control, if your keyboard isn't working and it's plugged in, uh, you you gotta you gotta push the cable in pretty far because you gotta hear a click. Once it's done, it should be an option to check Launch Razor Synapse. You're gonna click on that and hit Get Started. Bam! Razor Synapse is downloaded. Now you're just gonna sign up if you don't have an account, but I have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. And once you log in, it may or may not go away. You're just going to click on this and it should come back right here. And you're going to click Launch Synapse. And this should load. Uh, I'm just going to skip because I already know everything. Now, your Razer Huntsman sh Mini or any, if you have more Razer devices like my Viper Mini, it, it will show up. But for the lighting, you're just going to click on Huntsman Mini. Now here you can refunction any of the keys, but I don't recommend it because it is a 60% keyboard. Then you're going to go and click on lighting, and here you can choose which lighting you want. Uh, so ambient awareness is probably going to... I have no clue what ambient awareness does. So when you play anything on your computer... To notice or not if I zoom in the camera. Right here, it has a new... Your keyboard will light up. I don't really like that audio meter. Uh, breathing is basically... It will cycle through the two colors that you pick, uh, or you can do random color. Uh, fire... Fire is basically going to make your keyboard like flash red and yellow and orange. Reactive is probably going to... Whatever key you press, it'll light up. Ripple, make it so that whenever you press the key, it'll like ripple. Like you'll be able to see the effect on your keyboard. Spectrum cycling is it's going to uh, cycle through the rainbow. Starlight is basically whatever you call you choose for the stars to be. or the. It's just going to randomly do those keys along the keyboard. Static is just showing one color, which is probably what I'm gonna use. Wave is basically waving RGB. Uh, you can pick what, what uh, direction it waves in, I like, uh, right? Wheel, so wheel is basically wave, but it goes in a circle. And once again, you can pick direction. Uh, so those are all the lighting modes, and this is the software. And here, if you full screen the tab, it'll see there's gaming mode, and Enable in-game is automatically going to disable the Windows key, uh, disable Alt F4, and disable Alt and Tab whenever you're in a game. So that's a really good feature that I'm definitely going to turn on. Or you can have it to always on. Yeah, so that's it. So uh, let's get to the outro. And that is how you install the software. That is going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.